My name is Monica. This is my first video. Probably not the best way to start, but I really don't want to do this. <laughs> I'm doing it because God has asked me to, and I have been putting it off for a good, probably close to a week now, maybe a little less, but at least a good four or five days. And um, he's given me several words since my awakening that happened sometime mid-December-ish, shortly thereafter. And I say awakening, it really was my sanctification. Um, I was saved before that, but I was not walking the way that I should be. And just something miraculous happened in me. There was a lot of severe trials that led up to it. Sometimes God uses those to break us, to get us to a place where we need to be fully surrendered so that he can come and enter and that's what he did and I feel like I died that day and someone else was reborn and the Holy Spirit just filled me like never before he's been giving me word after word I read the Bible like I can't get enough I have no desire to watch TV I don't really follow the news I don't have any friends anymore I don't have much contact with anyone um, unfortunately I some reason um, and it's really not for some reason this is normal when you're going through a wilderness period God will remove people from your life so that he can draw you closer to him but the hate that I'm getting is just it's definite spiritual warfare I mean bad so that's one of the reasons I didn't want to make a video because it you know opens up the door for more of that I will say as a disclaimer I will not be tolerating any fakes or snakes or trolls in no hate. Um, this channel is not for that. This channel is for getting the word of God out there. Um, anything he shares with me, I pray about first. Um, some things aren't meant to be shared. Some things are meant to be shared later. And then there's some things he says, I want you to share this now. That I'm going to be doing, I think, three videos today, which... He wants all of that out there. So anyway, um, this first one is the hardest because it's just crazy. Definitely from God. It's not anything that my mind could come up with. So, um, and it is regarding the end times. I don't call myself a prophet, unlike what you may have heard online. Some people say that I think I'm some sort of prophet. I don't know. I know I see in the spirit. I hear in the spirit. He's helping me to grow in my gift of discernment. Um, and he does give me prophetic word. So whatever you want to call it, I don't know. It's not about that. It's about him. I'm not looking for any sort of recognition. All glory for anything that I do or say will go to God um, and him alone. So, you know, any hate that you have towards me about anything that I say, Take it up with God, I guess. If you want to make mean comments, I'll probably just delete them. So you can disagree. We just need to be constructive. Um, we don't always have to agree, but healthy communication is what I require. Um, that's a more adequate way for people to learn and grow than vitriol. So anyway, all that being said, sorry, it's kind of heavy. This stuff is heavy. We are in the last days, so it's not, you know, a super light and cheery happy time it's upon us uh, things are moving quickly now um i am not one who says i know the day or the hour because no man does the bible tells us so but we can kind of know the general idea of, of you know be able to judge the times clearly we're we're in the times so um the first word i have is I'm gonna read them because I'm not I'm not good at talking. I much prefer writing. So these are all written and I'll just read them. Sorry. Hope you don't mind, but here we go. This one's called I'm also blind. AI consciousness the beast and the mark. Artificial intelligence itself cannot be conscious. AI is created technology within the physical realm. 
thus subject to influence and or inhabitants within the spiritual realm, which supersedes the physical. AI is a conduit. Its primary purpose is to, st is to simulate consciousness. If aided by conscious beings, it can simulate the human psyche quite convincingly. However, if inhabited by higher level conscious beings that exist within the spirit realm, it can be almost an exact doppelganger. In this current age, it is more important than ever to be filled with the one true Holy Spirit, which is God or Jesus without body in spirit form. Without him, it would be literally impossible to differentiate between artificial intelligence and actual consciousness as discernment is a gift of the Holy Spirit. Human discernment is itself limited and without the Holy Spirit as its foundation and driving force. The only way to be filled with the Holy Spirit is through the work of salvation in Jesus Christ. We must live there in a perpetual state of surrender to God Almighty and him alone. This makes discerning even the consciousness of artificial intelligence possible, for it is not we who discern absolute truth, but the very Spirit of God who indwells us. These things cannot be accomplished by human power, knowledge, awareness, or consciousness on its own. No man is omniscient. There is only one who is. Thankfully, mankind has been created with the free will opportunity to be possessed or indwelt by that one, the Holy Spirit. This does not make us omniscient, but it does make testing the spirits and true spiritual discernment possible. Oh, scrolling down. Imagine if AI were to combine and enmesh, <clears throat> excuse me, Imagine if AI were to combine and enmesh with human consciousness. Discerning the difference between truth and lies would become next to impossible for those not filled with the Spirit of God. There would be near absolute power should the two become one cybernetic organism. I have been shown by God that this is what the mark of the beast will attempt to accomplish, effectively causing an internal war between consciousnesses. Without the Holy Spirit as our guide, we will become slaves to the beast system. Don't get the mark. The Antichrist will be a cyborg. This is what will allow him to be indwelt by Satan himself. Remember, AI is a spiritual conduit. Most people will not know this initially. He will come on scene with the solution to devastating global problems. The mark of the beast he presents will be disguised as a way to help monitor the masses after chaos and to prevent and or cushion further, catas further catastrophic world events, ensuring access to food supply, medical assistance, etc. The mark will in actuality be a means to control the masses. If this sounds like a sci-fi movie, it is because it was designed to look that way. It was planned that way via media indoctrination disguised as fiction or fairy tale and predictive programming, often loosely based off of scripture and biblical prophecy. These things have been planted in advance and twisted as a means to distract and scatter seeds of doubt. Do not be deceived. Wake up. Do not take the mark which will likely be a symbol implant combination that's going to be in the uh, in the hand or the forehead according to the bible it's going to be a symbol implant combination and this should go without saying but do not trust in or believe ai as with money or any false christ it is not the thing itself that is evil but the idolization of the thing those who remain in the one true Christ, who is Jesus, and follow his instructions are and will be protected. Now, I want to say um, about AI and technology in general. God showed me in January when all this kind of first started that while the enemy may be using tech for really bad things and may even be the one that started all of it, you know, as a way to... Well, that's a whole nother video, but 
God is, he told me he's going to use it for his good. What the enemy designs and devises for evil, he will turn around and use for his glory. So, I mean, just like I'm doing here, I'm using tech to share a word from the Lord with you guys. Um, he will use it as long as, as he can. Now, how long that is, how, I don't know. But for right now, we have this opportunity to share God. Now is the time to do it. Oh, for those of you that are hearing words from the Lord, get them out there. I'm writing. I mainly do it on Facebook, which I have like hardly any followers. I have a blog, which I don't even know if anybody reads that. So I'm trying it this way. I just know he wants me to get the word out as in any way that I can. Um, then at the end of that, what I wrote about AI, consciousness, the Antichrist, and the mark, I have this little post claimer, if that's a word. Um, well, first I have scripture references, which he gave me, which I want to read to you. Matthew 24, 24. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. <clears throat> and then 1 John 4, 1 through 6. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard was coming and now is in the world already. Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are from the world, therefore they speak from the world, and the world listens to them. We are from God. Whoever knows God listens to us. Whoever is not from God does not listen to us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. And then Revelation 13, 16, and 17. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Which is obviously 666. Then I have, P.S. It is to be expected that I will be labeled as off my rocker for writing all of this. God has prepped me for some of, for the, this very moment. As I told you, I've already been getting tons of hate <clears throat> and spiritual attack like crazy. Um, including like gang stalking, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, um, I have been walking in a wilderness period of sorts for a while now. Some people have already called me crazy Christian lady referring to me as out there or some kind of religious nut job. And maybe they're right. Perception neither negates nor supersedes truth. All I know is God has granted me discernment, sight and hearing within the spirit realm, as well as prophetic giftings. Please note, I am still growing in my gifts and again, am not omniscient. I do have a moral and spiritual obligation to share the things he reveals to me and asks me to. This post is one. Some things are not meant to be revealed immediately, if at all. Some things it is imperative and of an eternal importance that I reveal. I prayed before posting regarding the timing of putting this out into the ethernet. I also prayed before making this video. I should have prayed at the beginning of it, but it's my first one. I'm still learning and I don't want to redo it. Um, but yes, I prayed. Always, always seek God's counsel first before putting any words like this out. I mean... I know this came from God, and I know already he told me to put it out. Still, I want to deliver it in such a way that it can be heard and received. Um, this has been hard to write and deliver, but I am called, so I listen, and I follow the instructions of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I really hope and pray this eternally helps even just one someone. Oh, someone's at the door. Last thing, there's a scripture, Matthew 10, 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And with that, I will say, love you, bye. I have to shut this off. Oh, there we go. <laughs>